Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to our channel, Deb Chanel's 48th World. You know, of course, we're going to get right back into another salacious story. We're going to be talking about Urban Bell and their, um, let me see, who, who we're going to get credit to. We got to get credit to credit is due. Miss Amanda Anderson now, she's one of the correspondents over there at Urban Bell Mag Magazine. She's breaking out another story on none other than Cynthia Bailey. I tell you, my housewives can't keep out of the spotlight. No, they cannot. They love the popularity. They love the stories being written up on them. And they love to be in drama and on television. But I am telling you, I am telling you today, Cynthia has aligned herself up with a lot of women and men who do nothing but serve Satan, okay, he's up there in their lives because they wanted that fame, fortune, and everything that goes to it. Did y'all know Kenya Moore made a movie called Dolls of Voodoo? Girl, doesn't that tell a lot about her? I'm telling you, you keep digging, you find stuff. That's what I'm saying, people. Do your research. Do your research, and then you'll see who you're actually calling yourselves liking, not liking, or kind of having a difference of opinion, okay? But they all do it. Those who seek fortune, fame, and want to be called a star, they have to do a lot of strange things for change. And that's not in this latest article. That's just my sidebar. And remember, Steve Harvey is the one that hooked up Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill. And look who he's floating around with. Okay, look who he is floating around with. I tell you, mm, all that's done in the dog will come to light. Whoo, child. Now, y'all remember uh, Kayla? That's Mike Hill, I think, second daughter. Uh, and look at these eyes, the all-seeing eye. Isn't that something? Why would that be put in a photo? Why would that be a background for somebody to put in a photo? Just saying, do your research, okay? I'm just calling out a spade, a spade when I see a spade. Now, when you're going down with them, meaning the elite, you're going to have to do a lot of strange things. You're going to have to throw up a lot of signals or signs to saying where your allegiance is at. You're going to have to wear certain colors to show that you are still with them. You are paying attention and you're giving them nothing but praise, okay? And I thought the only person you're supposed to praise is the Lord. Anything else is idol or idolatry type worship. But hey, it just is what it is. And Mike is no better. He's sitting out there selling out his youngest child. He seems like uh, he has turned or he has chosen out of the two. He chose the younger one. Now, don't that look like a girl? A sweet little beautiful girl. The one on the right is what I'm talking about. The one that looks like him but don't favor him like the one on the left. He don't put her looking like a boy, a dude, okay? That's what I'm saying. This pretty young girl in the middle. It seems to me Mike, Mike has sacrificed her for him to gain fortune and fame. But he didn't get the one on the left that sure looked like him. Okay, that says picking sides, picking your children, playing your children amongst each other. And definitely Cynthia has done her job as well. You see how Noelle was sitting there looking like a young lady, pretty, chasing them boys or trying to chase them until Cynthia... You know, did or said something and then starts transforming her into the LGBTQ community, okay? And making her also look like a hot body out there. Who in their right mind would sit there and take pictures? Would you think about swimwear or you think about getting with her? Okay, I'm just saying. Hollywood does some strange things to people. But we're going to go on and get into um, Amanda Niles. And you see the hand sign sig a signal showing allegiance. That's what Steve does, okay? He done got very subtle in his demeanor about it, but he still throw up them hand signs. And Mike Hill, he's a man of many faces. I tell you, because every time I look for pictures of him, I see different personalities in different faces. Don't y'all? Keep looking. You'll see what I'm talking about. It comes to like, maybe they're toying with him in a sense. Or maybe he's been cloned. Who knows? But... His whole demeanor changes with every look he gives us. But we're going to go on into this particular article. Um, the Anders, Amanda Niles Anderson wrote out 
on her uh, company's website or who she's contracted to write articles for, which is Urban Bell Mag Magazine. Go over there and check them out. They are always putting out stories, okay? Some you can get with, some you can't get with, but it's all table talk over here. So, family, how have y'all been doing, y'all? How y'all been doing? And on my next video, I definitely have to shout out some newcomers. Um, they have been partaking of the family unit, the family house, coming over, dropping by, putting their two cents in. I have forgot about you. I'm still throwing up those little hello, welcoming hugs and kisses to the ones that do drop by. I just didn't do it on this particular video because I wasn't prepared. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, that's a little girl. They looked like a little girl and they turned her into a boy. Same thing with Mike Hill. Uh, he turned this little girl into looking like a little boy. But yeah, the one that was before them, this one. Now, now she looked like a little girl, don't she? Looked like a sweet, wholesome Harvard uh, person up there. And they don't turn her to gay for some money. I don't know. It's a supply that Cynthia and Mike uh, work through Noel to try to get one of her girls to come over and look, play the part of being her woman at the time. You know, her butcher looking woman. I don't know. But Mike Hill, yes, he has sold his soul. And Cynthia's down that road as well. And all of them are definitely being mind controlled. Okay? If you don't believe me, keep on investigating it for yourself. I'm just dropping out little nuggets. Okay? Because who would want to take a picture? with a background like that i tell you they look like the family from the i don't know what and then that son goddess type of uh fixture cynthia got in her hair check up look it up a deity sun goddess and why would anybody why would anybody throw salt or throw some type of and look at that little picture at the uh, bottom at that little uh, floor mat they were showing but anyway i was going on to say who would take pictures okay even if you got a chance to do a bridal spread wouldn't you have done it close to your wedding date or hell on your wedding date uh, or after your vet wedding date did some features where they could pay you some money also why would anybody want to jinx themselves and be dressed up in a wedding gown like they've already been uh, partaked of nuptials and everything like that and they married? That's jinxing yourself, don't you think? But like I said, when you play in a uh, playground with nothing but devils and stuff, that's what you get. A bunch of shit. But, you know, look at Steve's uh, attire. He well, he's not sacrificing, but he's showing his allegiance to the sun god and all that kind of stuff. But we're going to get on back to this latest article. Her title for her article is Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey responds to skepticism about Mike Hill. Child, I don't told you. Steve Harvey set Mike Hill up for the okie doke for them to capture Cynthia and bring her into the fold so more sacrifices can go on, okay? And like I said, sacrifices don't have to be meaning death. It could be other things. It could be the death of a person's demeanor or character or even gender, okay? They don't care how it is. just how to be humiliated and it has to be self-serving for the elite, okay? But anyway... Uh, and that's another hand sign uh, Steve is throwing up with his chest. If y'all go on into it, y'all can tell Steve ain't nothing but a damn dog and a devil himself. Okay? My opinions only, not in this later article. But we're going into the article. It says, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey is ready to make things official with Mike Hill. The couple is expected to tie the knot this year. In the meantime, fans of the show have a lot of opinions about their relationship. And that's due to some information that came out on current season. Okay? Okay, Cynthia and Mike recently revealed that Mike cheated on his previous wives while writing his book. Mike said he realized that he had a lot of issues that prevented him from being a good partner. But he addressed those things and he's been faithful to Cynthia. Uh-huh, that's what they say. I don't know, okay? I don't know, Cynthia. You better be looking long and hard because that last episode we saw, he was straight up with about 8 or 9, 10, 11, 12 women, okay? And they weren't bad looking women either, girl. And then he had some um, gay men over there too. Make you think, is he dipping into the, uh, the, that pool as well? Is he bisexual? That's what I'll be wondering, Cynthia. Is he bisexual? Okay, but yes. Oh, Lord, that's the woman um, Noelle claims to fame that she's in love with and she's having a relationship with. I tell you, can they spin stories for the satanic arena agenda can they spin stores but anyway going back to this latest article it says despite this cynthia did 
admit that she does sometimes wonder what would make her different and keep her from experiencing the same fate as Mike's previous wife. So some fans of the show have been a little skeptical about Mike on social media and Cynthia responded recently. Well, Cynthia, I said, no, nothing about you is uh, different. Nothing at all. You're beautiful women, such as the women he was messing with were beautiful women. Maybe they didn't want to get into his arena of fooling with the devil and fooling with eliteness and doing some strange things for change. Maybe that's why he didn't stay with them. I'm just saying, because people like Candy, he can go with her every day, all day, because we see what her allegiance is to, and we see how she gets down. If you don't think Kenya Moore is not one of them, you better think again, because she's definitely doing that hand sign. And like I said, investigate hand hand signals hand symbols you'll see where i'm going and you see what kind of movies she like doing okay it's her arena all day every day but moving back to the video i mean i'm moving back to this latest article because that was all me that wasn't on this latest article it says when it comes to cynthia bailey's relationship with mike hill a lot of real housewives of fans are happy for the couple however some fans are skeptical okay um wait a minute hold on Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, it says, however, some fans are skeptical and suspicious raised a lot when it was revealed that Mike cheated on his previous wives. Mike would say later that he cheated because he wasn't in love. And things are very different now with Cynthia. Cynthia don't believe that hogwash. You might be MK altered at the time. But honey, keep prayer. Keep If any God is in you, any Lord, any uh, righteousness is in you, fight the power, girl. Money, fame, and fortune ain't everything. Fight the power. Fight the power that be, okay? Cynthia, fight the power that is going against you, okay? We'll keep praying for you, and hopefully you will see the light before. Was it 10, 10, 20, or 10, 20, 20? What was it? Okay, maybe you will break that cycle, break on out, and bid him adieu, okay? And get your daughter some counseling, and both of y'all need counseling. Go together, and then go separate. Because y'all need to uh, just wake up out of this madness that y'all have circled y'all self into. That wasn't in the later article, but getting back to the article, it says, Mike would later say that he cheated because he wasn't in love, and things are very different now with sin. However, this hasn't done much to stop the skepticism some have, and more eyebrows raised when it was shown that Mike has a lot of female friends. Yes, 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 yes. Regardless, Cynthia feels good about things recently, and Instagram followers expressed their concern. They told Cynthia that there is something about Mike that just don't they just don't trust, and they feel as if Cynthia might need to get some counseling. Honey, they need to not get counseling; they just need to separate part ways and be each other a do now that was on me not in this article and then it says cynthia responded check out the screenshot below uh cynthia bailey on her website on instagram she posted um uh, wait a minute we are both wait a minute we are both a work in progress <laughs> you see what i'm saying cynthia ain't caring about what nobody is saying but she better start caring because i don't know maybe peter just didn't want to do no strange things uh for change and he didn't really want to sit out there and mess up noelle's life so that's why he kind of backed off from cynthia and noelle and this is the end result that we have with mike hill taking peter's place and he going full and head strong on what he wants and how he wants to prevail in that elite organization he has aligned himself with okay those who hear hear those who see see what i'm talking about all right and that's all i have for this particular video guys y'all can see See, I've given y'all proof if y'all done y'all homework uh, the expressions of the different signs they do and I'm gonna go and get into some of that hair color that Nene can't seem to get rid of but she has aligned herself with that's another thing when they going through MK Archer they have to change their looks and when they come and send their allegiance with everything that's satanic they have to change their hair color to gold that means they are um, solidifying themselves they done been through the mk ultra network and they've been traumatized and they've been uh liquefied into a state of 
unconsciousness where they're with us but they're not with us they're almost like a clone dummy of some sort but like i say do your investigation if you don't believe me get an eye fool do some research but that's why you've been seeing nini straight up always wearing gold hair first i was thinking she just wanted to be white and she wanted to emulate uh i'm not saying this she wanted to emulate kim zoziac and it might be a little bit of both, but I think it's more so she went through a, a, a initiation phase and she's going to have to do it. I can't wait to see Candy sporting it. We've been seeing Portia sport it here and there. I ain't leaving her out. She might be dumb as rocks in our eyes, but when you look further into her persona, what she's trying to do, probably messing with that damn Dennis McKinley. Uh, sh she's going under the MK Ultra, um, my allegedly speaking uh ritual pagan thing they do too because like i said she has been sporting some gold blonde hair as well and that's just something they do we already seen cynthia do it and lord knows she don't look good in no uh, uh, no light gold blonde hair but when you're trying to do the tricks of the trade to form a high allegiance with some people you got to do some things you got to do some things okay but y'all get down in them comments and y'all tell me what y'all think about subject matter and the article that amanda now um, amanda anderson now has wrote out for her um contracting assignment i believe at uh urban bill mag magazine however you see it she's still working for them they still paying her it's all good it's all good up in the hood all right but i hope you all are enjoying y'all sunday afternoon y'all know the real housewives of atlanta come on and you know we gonna be there that's right the 23rd if you're staying on uh, you're in the Eastern Standard Time Zone. It's at 8 o'clock sharp. And we will be there. We'll be partaking. And we'll be reviewing after the show. And that's how we roll over here. So y'all continue to have a, a good day. If you're not having a good day, continue to pray about it. Continue to think good thoughts. Just continue to stay motivated. Continue coming over here. Because I'm damn sure going to motivate you. I'm going to motivate you. I'm going to motivate you. I'm going to motivate myself on down out to that treadmill. Okay. But this weekend, I had to help my daughter move. So, if for anything, I've been getting exercise moving shit. Okay. But anyway, that's all I had to say. Love and kisses to you all. And I will see y'all next video. But, well, bye-bye and see you later. All right. And before I do, I bid you adieu. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Continue to share our vid videos and like our videos. Okay. Continue to share with the masses. Okay. Because we're trying to get stuff out there. We're trying to drop some hints, some knowledge, some wisdom, some golden and nuggets on some folks. As well as we sit down and kiki and talk shit with one another. Okay. That's what I'm there for. That's what you're here for. And Lord have mercy. Let's continue to keep these babies in prayer with these grown ass um parents out here trying to pretty much sacrifice their children's livelihood and their personality and creativity that they should be uh, doing on their own okay like we didn't have children to serve us we had children because we loved them and their gifts from god we didn't have the time and we shouldn't have the inclination to be trying to pimp them out to make us look better in society and help us grow in the entertainment world for only self-serving purposes. Shame on my kills. Shame on Cynthia Balin. Shame on Candy Burris. Um, anybody else I need to be shame on? Well, they, the ch their children ain't old enough to say what they're going to try to do to them. And I'm talking about Portia and Kenya. Hopefully, they'll be spared it. And uh, But then again, you know, if they keep floating with the same parents, they can't help but get into it. But, you know, the law can change anything in every behavior and demeanor. And I put that and I stand by. Okay, but that's all I have, family. I'll see y'all next video. See you later.